so I'm a little nervous, so bear with me, y'all, okay? So, um, good evening, recent graduates, bottom line counselors, families, and friends. Like Vicky said, my name is Valdivino Gonzalez, and it's, a, and it's an honor to be speaking with you all this evening. The graduates in this room are all the same, are all the same in that we had the goal to get our bachelor's degree, and through struggle, persistence, support, and guidance, we managed to meet our goal. I'm happy to share this moment with you today, and we should definitely all be proud of our accomplishments. Um, my higher education journey started with some words from a friend. Yo, Val, they help you with everything. <laughs> and I mean everything. Those were the words my friend Carla told me one afternoon in Spanish class at the John D. O'Brien High School. Shout out to y'all again, OB. <laughs> she was a senior on her way to college, um, and, I, and, and, I was a, and I was a junior on her way to my senior year of high school. The day she was talking about was bottom line. She had been through their access program and explained to me that she really benefited from their support. And since I didn't know where to start, I said, sign me up. I signed up for bottom line and the soon summer met my first college counselor, Claude Dean. Many of you probably know and realize that she was the absolute best. No offense, counselors. <laughs> she came off as such a genuine person and seemed to care about me and about my future in such an authentic way. We instantly hit it off and formed a great bond. As a matter of fact, I think I was her favorite student. <laughs> At least that's, that's what she told me. <laughs> the following school year, I met with Claudine a number of different times for help with everything when it came to the college process. Need I say more? You've all been through it. Uh, from researching to applying to colleges, to the financial aid and scholarship processes. Finally, around April of 2008, I received the best news of my life up to that point. I got accepted to Northeastern University, my top school. I remember getting the email with my acceptance letter and immediately started screaming and jumping on the couches in my living room. Luckily, my mom hadn't gotten home yet. <laughs> now, if you know me, you know I'm a chill, nonchalant type of a person. And I don't scream and jump on the couches for anything. This was big. I was so relieved to have it accepted into Northeastern University, the same school that deferred my application just a few months earlier. Two weeks later, I would receive my financial aid package. The honeymoon was already over. I had a $25,000 gap, and my dream of attending Northeastern was instantly crushed. I called Claudine the next day, and she told me to come into the office. By the time I got into the office the next day, I had decided that I would, you know, just live at home um, in order to help pay for it. Unfortunately, even living at home would leave me with a gap of over $10,000. During my meeting with Claudine, I, as you would probably imagine, was very sad, very sad and very pouty. Um, and she, she seemed, that she, she seemed that look as though she had something up her sleeve. She said to me, something tells me you're going to still end up going to Northeastern and also live on campus. I looked at her like she was crazy. Unless she was going to pay my $25,000 bill, I was not going to Northeastern. <coughs> Luckily for me, she did have something up her sleeve. Through the relationship we built, she knew that not only had I worked to achieve a 3.4 GPA in high school, while juggling my part-time job at Target, but that I was also really involved in student council at school. I was also involved in the King Bernie Student Association back in high school as well. Um, and due to my accomplishments and Claudine's nomination, I was um, awarded both the Stephen Phillips Scholarship and the Charles Kane Scholarship, totaling $20,000. I felt incredibly blessed and grateful for Claudine and Bottom Line's help. She has helped me complete the tedious Phillips application and vouched, vouched for me when it came to the Haven Scholarship. I, I can't imagine earning $20,000 elsewhere had it not been for Bottom Line's help. And I'm thankful each and every day for that. So big ups to the Bottom Line. <laughs> My first year at Northeastern, I excelled both academically and socially. Like Vicki said, I became the president of the Cape Verde Student Association during my second year. I met wonderful professors and made a plethora of good friends. Some of y'all in here today. I could not have scripted it better. I was at my dream school, living on campus, and simultaneously being close to home. All that was very important to me, and I was able to do it um, with Bottom Line's help. Bottom Line was also in my life through their college success program. Now, you all know what I'm talking about when I say, when I talk about these care packages. Yes. What other program sends you care packages, right? And what other college program sends you birthday cards? Even though they come a couple of days late. <laughs> okay. My birthday's around Christmas time, so I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I remember December freshman year in particular. 
I was running low on soap for laundry, and to my surprise, in the middle of all the Jolly Ranchers in my care package, I found a small package of soap. I was so relieved. Clean underwear. But on a more serious note, bottom line is helping in more ways than I can ever imagine. Besides the extra support throughout my college career and the care packages, they recently allowed me to complete an internship just last semester, my last semester at Northeastern. I too was a bottom line staff member, member for myself, and I worked there for five months and I helped. Um, I had a caseload of 21 high school students, and we worked on a bunch of financial aid forms, so fast the CSS profile, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and, I, and I built many great relationships with them. That experience helped me to solidify my decision to go on to graduate school for guidance counseling. I aspired to mentor and support high school students just as we were supported these, these, over these last few years. Finally, last month I graduated from Northeastern University, Magna Cum Laude, with a bachelor's degree in human services and specialization in education. Now, you don't have to start with the Cum Laude part, right? <laughs> so, kudos to you all for graduating from your respective colleges. You have now completed another huge step in this great journey. Congratulations and big ups to that. We did it. Class of 2012 really has got a ring to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? I see so many people in this room that I have known for a long time, and seeing you here today after such a phenomenal accomplishment makes me even more confident that I can, that I can expect greatness from all of you. We got in, we graduated, and I have no doubt that we'll all go very far. I want to leave you with a beautiful quote that someone very special shared with me upon graduation, and I want each and every one of you to remember this for the rest of your lives. Graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes on until the last day of your life. If you can grasp that, grasp that, then you'll make a difference. Thank you once again, and congratulations to the class of 2020.